My great uncle said that the Missouri River was our wildlife mother. That area along the river historically provided almost everything that we needed. You know, he was a beaver trapper and, you know, and hunter, and you know, they used to collect a lot of plants and berries. But when they were building the dams, that was kind of the, kind of the beginning of the end of, of using, you know, the Missouri River in that traditional way. I guess when I think about stewardship of our lands, you know, it's doing what's best for the land, you know, kind of under the circumstances. I first became interested in black-footed ferrets and, you know, the possibility of uh, reintroducing them here in the late 90s. So we're headed to a prairie dog colony where I saw a ferret about two months ago. Ferrets were thought to have you know, knowledge of medicines and other medicines that, you know, are underground. And so quite often ferret pelts, you know, they're used in regalia, um, they're used as medicine bundles, and so they're used to carry other, other sacred items. One of the reasons why I'm really drawn to black-footed ferrets or populations that are in decline is because I see those similarities of what happened to us as a people. I see like some of those wildlife species like prairie dogs as, as an underdog, you know. Federal government did the best they could to try to exterminate, you know, that species of wildlife. Buffalo is another example, you know. They tried to wipe out buffalo. Almost did it. Almost did it with prairie dogs. Almost did it with us. To fight for and work on, you know, wildlife species, that are also the underdog. To me, that's that's where that connection for me, you know, comes in. Every year, every time we we, we see one, and especially when we catch one, it's um, it's just a sense of accomplishment, you know, that we're that we're succeeding. Black-footed ferrets have a rightful place here, and so we have a responsibility to bring those species back and take a more, you know, holistic or ecosystem approach to what we do. You know, we're all hopeful that someday the ferret will be recovered and will be removed from the threatened, you know, endangered species list. We're part of that story. As tribes develop and grow and our wildlife programs mature, you know, that we're bringing in, you know, the Western science, but also, you know, our traditional cultures and you know, traditional science, you know, putting conservation at the top of what we do. So that's, to me, that's very hopeful. What we're doing here has national significance. Our view of conservation extends beyond our reservation borders. 